Welcome to Speak for Yourself. I'm Jason Whitlock. That's Marcellus Wiley, that dude. Yes, sir. Coming up, we'll tell you if Sean Payton just trolled Roger Goodell. And I've got another installment of the Emmy Award winning. Da -da -da -da. That dude's dude. But we start every day with a Whitlock. So what you got today, big dog? Ah, uh, the Patriots are the most hated dynasty in NFL history. Hmm. Much of that hate can be attributed to the fact that they're the greatest, longest lasting dynasty in NFL history. Two decades is at least one decade too long to be on top. Jealousy fuels 50% of the hate directed at the Patriots. And the arrogance of the Boston sports fans stirs that jealousy even more. Another 25% of the hate can be attributed to the tuck game, spy gate, deflate gate, and D Ford lining up offsides. Mm. The Patriots are viewed as lucky and sneaky. But it's the last 25% we're gonna talk about today. A portion of the hate directed at the New England Patriots is racial. In a league dominated by African-American players, the Patriots are the outliers. They are the suburban two-parent home team of perceived white privilege. The Patriots are Duke basketball. Think about it. When you recall the 1970s Pittsburgh Steelers, here's who you think of. Terry Bradshaw, Chuck Knoll, Franco Harris, and Mean Joe Green. Think about the San Francisco 49ers of the 1980s. Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Bill Walsh, and Ronnie Lott. The Dallas Cowboys of the 1990s, Emmitt Smith, Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Jimmy Johnson, and Jerry Jones. The Patriots of the last 20 years, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft, Rob Gronkowski, and Julian Edelman. The Patriots look like Duke. And in this era of fake woke, it's cool and socially acceptable to hate Brady, Gronk, and Edelman. It's like hating J.J. Reddick, Grayson Allen, and Christian Leitner. Hating the Patriots and Duke is the international signal that you're pro-black and free of racism. Hmm. Hating the Patriots is the default position for people who just can't muster the phoniness to pretend Colin Kaepernick is the modern-day Muhammad Ali. Hating the Patriots is down low taking a knee. So when I hear black players such as Ram Slot Corner and Nikhil Roby Coleman talk about how much they hate the Patriots in profane terms, I know they're bothered by the fact that some white dudes got the best of them. It's no different from when Tiger Woods won his first Masters title and Fuzzy Zeller started popping off about fried chicken. Fuzzy was like, it wasn't racial. Everybody likes fried chicken. White people just don't know how to season it. Mm. I'm not saying you can't dislike the Patriots. I spent my entire childhood loving Magic Johnson and the Los Angeles Lakers and disliking Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics. There's a significant difference between dislike and hate. When you dislike something, you can still respect it and see its value. Hate makes you irrational and unfair. Hate is for losers, liars, and hypocrites. Hate says more about you than them. The Patriots, they're too great to hate. Okay, joining the desk now are former NFL Pro Bowlers Greg